Hi, I'm Tom Cook, Sales Manager of Southwestern Controls and Fluid Solutions. As a longtime STLE member, OMA1 and CLS certified, as well as a member of IADC and the Produce Water Society, I would like to share with you today some aspects of hydraulic and lubrication filtration in aerospace and industrial systems. To do such, let's consider contamination sources systemically. Cylinder rods provide ingression of dirt. You have a chrome-plated rod that you think is super smooth, but if you touch it, you'll see that there's a film of oil in it, and that oil draws contamination into the cylinder. That can be viewed on this piece of mobile equipment. Aside from solid particle contamination, you have to consider ingression of moisture and humidity, particularly moisture and humidity that comes from the environment of the workplace. New oil is not necessarily clean oil, so you have to consider contaminant ingression from when you're filling your oil as well as during storage and handling. This young man's really proud of how he's dispensing this system, but it's not the proper way of doing it. Rather, you want to utilize clean, effective dispensing and filter transfer devices. Reservoirs are built to settle out dirt, and over a period of time, you're going to have fines build up within the reservoir. On one troubleshooting escapade, I went all the way to Chile to be able to discover such a fines build up in a reservoir that the major oil company couldn't find. They said they had cleaned the reservoir recently, but after we started seeing fines in the oil analysis, and then we opened up the tank, we found out there was considerable fines in the bottom of the tank. Reservoirs, again, are designed to settle out contaminants, but you reach a certain level, which is the benign dirt level, and once you get above that, the fine particles get into the stream. Filter layer analysis can identify a fines problem when you see that the outer layer, which is the gross contaminant layer, is not appreciably gathering contamination, and the major deposition of contaminants is on the second layer. Modern mobile equipment compact reservoir designs are a issue for consideration, as well as large storage tanks, all of which can accommodate elusive finds. When conducting maintenance, make sure you have as clean of environment as possible. Your ability to police contamination is going to be very related to how clean that environment is. New oil is not necessarily clean oil, and new components are not necessarily clean components. Gear pumps might be the worst because they do the final machining of their gear teeth while they're on a piece of equipment. With one customer, oil analysis revealed that they had ingression through the breather. One young man sent me this picture and was told by his boss to tell me that they have a quality breather here. Obvious but basic, you should clear all that dust off of the top of the reservoir around the filler breather, and you really need to use a quality desiccant breather. Thank you for your time. This video covered some of the very, very fundamental issues with regards to contamination sources. The subject really requires a lot more attention and a lot more specific intention. So if you're having any challenges with contamination in your hydraulic or lubrication fluid, please feel free to contact us and we'd be more than happy to assist.